Hello, water sign. What do you need to know for February? Knight of Cups. <laughs> we have the Nine of Swords, the Five of Wands. Ooh, Nine of Wands. Someone is going to be fighting for your energy, water signs. This is someone who wants to speak to you, who wants to be around you, Knight of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Um... This could be someone from your work, yeah, Eight of Cups. Or it could be also someone that you connected with over the internet, someone you have hobbies, interests. You guys could be uh, um, interested in the same kind of things. Could be a friendship or just someone you just needed to know about in your journey. So this person is wanting to speak to you, wanting to spend time with you, and they're ready to fight for your energy. They feel that you guys are surrounded by many people and you're not giving away your energy to people who are not worthy of your time. They know that in order to stand out, they're going to have to make a big deal to take some kind of action to, um, towards you. They need to be a charmer. They feel that they need to actually pull you back in, be magnetic themselves, find some way to be confident about themselves. They know that you're kind of over any kind of people who could be trying to walk on your boundaries. You're just being strict with that, you guys. And good for you, by the way. King of Swords. This could be a Libra, Aries. Oh, okay, I wanted to say Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, but maybe Aries. We do have Wands energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius as well. We have the Sun, Leo, strong Leo energy. Oh my God, Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups, you guys. Good for you. This is a big deal. This is someone who's ready to open up to you and make you happy. This is a new opportunity in love, you guys. For most of you, this is a new love. With the King of Swords energy, this is someone who's going to want to take action. Who's not going to let it go. So, you guys, please let me know. In February, there is an opportunity here that is coming your way. It's something that's going to make you really happy, especially with the sun. You guys have been wanting this. You've been wanting this. You've been waiting for this. With the Ace of Cups, this person is going to be opening up to you. There's no... I'm hearing funny business, strange business, sneaky stuff with this person. This is someone who's not only honest, straightforward, confident with their words, with their conversation. This is the, com the kind of person who wants to speak to you, who's going to want to speak to you regularly, who's going to want to be... Um, sharing with you their life you know you're not gonna have to wonder what's going on with them and once they fall for you this is someone who's ready to open up their whole life to you they want to be taking things seriously and they're gonna want things to move forward fast queen of swords you guys are gonna be matching that kind of energy I love that you're going to be opening up the same way you're gonna be speaking straightforward be clear with what you expect I really love that about you especially those who are putting up um, um, I'm, 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 I'm hearing you putting up um, an energy that you show that you know what this is what I accept this is what I don't accept in my life and this is the kind of thing that's going to be very attractive to this person three of swords the world seven of cups again I told you there's no more illusions confusions ten of swords closing up cycles you guys good for you good for you new cycle is going to open up you're done with hurtful third party situations things that uh, were confusing for you when it comes to love and water signs i know that you guys get uh, involved deeply with others so this is absolutely something you deserve you guys closing up a big cycle here karmic cycle goodbye let's see what else can we get for the month of february can we have anything about your career your finances your health maybe Queen of Cups. This is you, you guys. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have the Four of Pentacles. Three of Cups. You're keeping good people around you, by the way. Seven of Swords. What is the Seven of Swords, you guys? Eight of Cups. Absolutely. You're moving on from any, any circles here, especially circles of friends or even career people, so colleagues here. You're moving on from those who are sneaky. Moving away. Not just moving away. You're deciding this in terms of your heart, you're just deciding that I'm going to follow my heart. And as soon as I follow my heart, as soon as I trust my intuition, my feelings around those people, when I trust this, the way they make me feel is going to tell me everything about who they are, how they, how they talk about me behind my back. 
and what they truly want from me. You're deciding that you're going to be 100% listening to that. This is going to help you move away and really go towards your wish fulfillment, towards things that are good for you, okay? High, for your highest good. You're blocking your energy away from that. And I'm ha I have to say congratulations. It's not an easy task. I know some of us here, especially Scorpios, you guys can get stuck on people, you know? We have fixed energy. What else? Five of Pentacles, yes. Mm -hmm. King of Wands, wow. The Fool, this is crazy. Wheel of Fortune, okay. Here, Ten of Wands. You guys, um, there is an opportunity here um, that is coming your way. This is an opportunity that is going to release whatever was holding you back here, especially when it comes to your finances, things that really made you feel that if I follow my intuition, if I follow my heart, if I follow my passion, I'm not going to be able to fulfill my wish fulfillment when it comes to my career and this is changing. You guys are going to be standing up for yourself, King of Wands. Following your passion is going to be actually the way to find the right thing for you. This is a new start for you. And you're going to see that all the events surrounding this change in your energy, all the circumstances, all the situations are going to be bringing forward a new beginning here when it comes to the way you see your love, your passion towards a situation, towards actually working towards the right career for yourself. Ten of Wands, you're releasing things that made you feel that when you follow your heart, that actually the partnership you're going to be attracting are great for you. You're letting go of that sense of, am I going to be able to make it? Yes, you are. With the full energy here, you guys, I want you to know you are about to get into this fresh start. And like I said, all the situations, the circumstances are going to be pointing towards this King of Wands energy. You guys are becoming ambitious. You guys are climbing. You're, um, you know, you're getting promoted. And for some of you, you're climbing. I'm hearing social status. You're changing your social status. For so many of you, you are deciding that I'm going to follow my passion. I'm going to be confident about it. Strength card, Leo energy. I told you, you're very confident, very strong, very um, determined as well. Six of Wands, and it's bringing a lot of success. Page of Wands. You're going to be receiving a message here, a communication here, Two of Wands, something you've been wanting, you've been trying to plan for a long time, but somehow wasn't opening up for you. Look at this, Four of Cups. In the past, this was an energy that was closed off or was not, I'm hearing not ready. You guys were not ready for it. You are becoming ready. Six of Swords, exactly. You moved away from patterns that were difficult, were putting you in this Five of Pentacles, not good enough energy, you know? Six of Cups. Six, six is important here. We have the Four of Swords. A lot of healing, the Hermit. Yes. Okay, you guys. Virgo energy, by the way. You guys have managed, finally, to get into a state where you have this enlightenment, this spiritual awakening, the ascension process is... Um, taking you into a new step in your life, in your career, in your finances, where you're no more no more hanging on to this past energy where you felt like um, every time you followed your heart, you can really actually honor yourself or you can really um, create the kind of financial situation you wanted for yourself. This is changing. You healed that pattern. You are opening up and you will be receiving a message, an opportunity here that will show you that whatever you, you plan for, the goal that you've tried to achieve for a long time, it's going to be opening up for you now. Justice. This is your karmic justice. This is meant for you, you guys. Good luck with this. Let me know in the comment section. I love you. See you later.